Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. In case you are new here, my name is Kristen. So today's video is uh, so many things in one. And uh, we've started the video by just doing some cleaning because uh, we need to travel. So I just wanted to make sure that I'm leaving my house clean so i have a dirty carpet that i wanted to go to the car wash so that when i return uh, they can bring it back clean and i also want to do some cleaning in the bedrooms so the girls have started doing cleaning in their room because i told them that is not my work and i won't i won't be cleaning their room so they had to do it by themselves so i'll be cleaning the bedroom and then they will as i clean the bedroom they'll be cleaning the kitchen and the living room of camera here yeah. so let's get into the video i hope that you get to enjoy the video share like leave a comment down below guys and kindly do not skip the ads Right now, uh, they are done and Nicolette is going to put uh, some other curtains because the gold curtains, I want to, I'll be cleaning them and they will go back to the living room. So they have to uh, return their uh, their beige curtains here. So they'll be using the beige curtains and I will also remove the gold curtains that are in my room and uh, I will use uh, the white curtains that I had washed. Leave it all behind. We got 
this is the final look they really tried yeah they really tried i need to change that carpet i also need to change that seat and uh, their study desk got broken. I need to repair it. You know, kids, they, they are always uh, breaking things, destroying things. Yeah. So that is why I will need to repair their study desk. Back to my bedroom, I will start by removing the curtains because I, as I've told you, they will need to be cleaned because they'll be going to the living room so after removing the curtains i'll go ahead and clean my windows using the sufficient window cleaner and then i'll clean my side mirrors my side cabinets and uh, make my bed I had also told Habi to help me remove my, the bedroom carpet uh, so that the, he can air it outside on the balcony. Yeah, I just need it fresh. So he, what he did, he spot cleaned it before removing it. Then he removed and hanged it outside. So when I'm done, that's when we'll be, uh, we'll be bringing it back to the bedroom. I just want to return home to a clean house and not uh, I, because I know when I come back, I'll be tired. And I won't have uh, that energy to do the cleaning.
So these are the curtains uh, that have been in my living room. But initially when I bought these curtains, I specifically bought them because of this bedroom. I wanted my bedroom, uh, most parts of the bedroom white. So that is why I got these curtains specifically for my bedroom. But then I decided to to put them in the living room because my gold curtains were dirty so that is why i had switched my gold curtains to the bedrooms and this to the living room so there is no harm in switching curtains you can always get uh, curtains as many curtains as you want and keep switching them into different rooms as long as they blend in together with your furnitures and uh, deco yeah so for these white ones, I'll just be switching. I'll just be switching my all my whole all of my curtains in different rooms, guys. So this is how my bedroom has turned out. It's smelling fresh, clean, and I just love it. Uh, this way. So after a few hours, I decided to start packing. Yeah, so by this time I had packed the kids' bag and now it was time to pack my my bag and my hubby's. So we are sharing a bag, me and hubby, and the kids will be sharing a bag. We are not going for so many days. Yeah, so that's why we are just carrying a little and uh, we are adding some clothes or uh, other things that we'll be taking home so that's why we are carrying uh two big bags but uh when returning i know our bags will be empty because we'll have taken a lot from the bags and left uh left them at home So we also bought some anti-malarial that we'll, we'll be taking all of us because the western part of uh, Kenya is well known for malaria. Yeah, it has lots of mosquitoes and one can easily get infected with malaria. So that is why we always get some anti-malarial before we travel. Yeah, so we all have this anti-malarial and it will come in very handy. So after that, the kids had prepared dinner and I had my dinner. They every Everyone had had theirs but me I had mine last because I was busy doing other things as a mother
Time to pray and I was making the prayer before we leave the house. It was night. Yes, we were traveling with uh, we were traveling at night so we'll be arriving in the morning. So guys, we got home safe and this is my grandma's place. Yes, we were coming to my maternal home. This is my grandma's place and uh, this is her compound. She lives here by herself. She, my grandfather passed so many years ago when I was in primary school. This is her house and uh, my all my fathers are are gone. Yeah, they, they are dead they passed on so my father had uh, my grandmother had three sons and they are all dead and uh, two daughters who are alive but they are uh, they are living somewhere else guys so they only come to visit yeah so this homestead only has my grandmother here so the next uh, so uh, later in the day we me and my younger sister me and the, my two sisters we are three sisters we went to the market uh, to get some few stuffs yeah so we were heading over to Luanda market if you know these parts of um of Kenya yes i am from Luanda a place called uh, yeah i'm from a place called Luanda it's in western Kenya near Maseno yeah that is where i am born and that's where i come from that's where i've lived most of my life guys so we are going to the market but it's not a market day but we'll we'll be getting some medicine uh, for my elder brother who's not feeling well and we'll also be going to the uh, supermarket to get some milk and just some breakfast stuff that is why we came here So my place is well known for bang. Yeah, there are so many boys here who uh, take bang. Bangi, that is bangi. Yeah, so this place is well known for that. And uh, it's um, the tribe here is uh, Luya. And uh, the sub-tribe uh, sub -tribe that I come from is Wanyore. So if you know, Luya have uh, so many sub-tribes. So mine specifically is Wanyores, but I am married to Luo tribe. Yeah, so this is where I come from. So we arrived in the pharmacy and we got some medicine. Then we later proceeded to the supermarket to get some few stuffs.
I'm told that uh, there was a season for termites and it had just finished. So I bumped into some termites in the market and I decided to purchase some. Yeah, so I was lucky. I had really missed these things. And so I bought these and they were so yummy. I also bought boiled groundnuts, guys. These are some of the things that we grew up eating them and they are so yummy. The next day morning, we woke up and uh, Nicolette was uh, with her cousin. They were cleaning dishes because um, my grandma always has a, a help who comes and lives in the evening. But because today was a Sunday, she was not going to come. So the kids were washing the dishes that we used last night. And I was making some tea. So I left my sister. She was uh, helping me make the tea. And my younger sister was mopping. Yeah, she he, she was mopping the house. So I was just trying to bask as I make some tea. So we use uh, we use uh, uh, firewood to make tea. But my grandmother always has. Uh, she has a kitchen in her house, in her main house. So she uses gas to make uh, tea by herself or to cook by herself when no one is around because she uh, she has difficulties in movement yeah, because of the some arthritis and bone issues. So that is why uh, we got her some gas uh, that she uses uh, when she's alone. But when uh, people are around, uh, we prefer using a uh, fire wood to make a uh, tea in this small kitchen of hers so me and my sisters uh, we grew up from my grandmother's place most of our lives that is why when we come home mostly we stay with my grandma and uh, we help her yeah so we spent most time with my grandma and we spent time and the night the day and the night in my grandma's house we are so much used to uh, her house yeah than our home though my our home is just uh, nearby like a hundred meters from my grandma's place but uh, as as girls we are used to my grandma more going to have tea with some cake and uh, blue band bread so i was just trying to apply a uh, bread a blue band on bread and uh, preparing the cake for everyone so when we are around mo oh, all of us come to take breakfast including my brothers who are around they all come to take breakfast 
uh, with us in my grandmother's house. So we enjoy keeping her company and just chatting and uh, keep it being updated with village life. So later on in the evening, we got ready and we went home now to our house to say goodbye to our mother. So this is these are my sisters and uh, my my nieces. We were going to say goodbye to my grandmom and. Uh, yeah, we, goodbye to my mom, sorry, because we were supposed to leave to Kisumu so that we can take a night bus here. Yeah. So this is our home now where we are going. Uh, it's just like 100 meters from my grandmother's. It's just, uh, let's say one homestead, but it's divided by a garden. So th that is my dad's grave there. And uh, this is our home. So Banana, banana tree, bakuku. Do you like Ushago? Yes. Do you want to live here forever? Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna think about it. So, um, um, um. Where, where is your toilet? My toilet mm -hmm. is over there. <laughs> where? Over there. Can you see it, guys? Yes. It's over there. So we're gonna see, guys. <laughs>